Hi, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we have a wheelchair docking system that we have to modify the mounting for a new chair into the existing system. And uh, let's take you on inside and show you what we got. Alright, underneath the chair we have uh, a couple bolts here holding the section together and the same on there. Probably good uh, mounting positions for uh, anchoring the, uh, the pin. And we just need to know this height in here. We're going to take some measurements inside the van on the catch there and we're going to start designing. Alright, this is the Easy Lock wheelchair docking system and it's a latch. Now their old chair had this bolted to the chair and there's the locking pin. Locks in just like that. Alright, so we're just drawing our, our sketch out here and basically we just need off the deck here it's like two and three quarters up for center line for our catch. Um, so we know what room we can play with on this piece here. All right, and we're probably going to have two measurements here. We'll see if they're the same height off the deck. Okay, this is about eight and seven eighths. It's about eight and eight and a quarter. All right, we can go inside and uh, start creating. series of shoulder bolts here and we put them in place on our jig that's going to hold that seat in and we kind of marked them for our plate thickness there but basically we're going to cut these back a half an inch we're going to cut them off but we're going to take five thousandths off this diameter so we have we're sure that we're getting clearance to go into the large uh, bore before it goes into the slide section of our hole I very rarely ever cut things off in the saw uh, I use parting tool for most everything uh, in round diameters that uh, fit into the lathe. These are getting walled in, so a scale dimension is fine to me. 
Uh-oh, we have to pull it out just a little bit. We're a little, a little too close for comfort there. A little better. Sometimes if you uh, let them pop out, they will uh, just go flying somewhere and uh, you may find them. And that uh, kind of leaves the machine finish here and we just sand off the little tit that's left on there. All right, uh, we want to hold those uh, shoulder bolts right down tight. Uh, but we don't want the finished product to be tight and we don't want it to be so tight we can't get it together So we took some oil paper and cut it into little squares here and uh, we're, we're gonna take a hole punch and punch a gasket hole uh, In here that's five-eighths of an inch in diameter to match the shoulder bolt you notice I'm using um, uh, a, a piece of lead and whenever I'm pouring lead and Babbitt I usually pour them into a cupcake uh, holder and use them to remelt again for the projects, but also to uh, create soft hits for things like hole punches. And it doesn't damage the hole punch and it gives you a nice, crisp, clean cut. You can always take the torch and melt that down a little bit. You can also give it a couple taps with a hammer to uh, re flatten it and keep the crisp cut. All right, we'll go put those in on the shoulder bolts and we're ready to flip it over and weld. These are gonna get welded on the back side there and just putting a little paper in there because you want to space them out, but you gotta have something that you can just rip off of there easy removal anyway on it and that's uh, that's how this plate's going to slide in and out on these slots and this is going to be the keeper pin here okay we just got this lightly pressed in there so we know we got uh, each one of those shoulder bolts sandwiched and they're sticking out about a hundred thousand and basically I'm just going to come around I don't, I don't think I'm going to uh, even add rod on them down now got some motion in there okay cool we're gonna rip out these all right there's our connection all right let's get our plunger in here Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we're going to have to work that hole in just a little bit. All right, uh, we had to do, we were, <laughs> we did make a reamer attempt, but uh, we were, we were fudging at uh, about 15,000 or so. I went ahead and took a rotary burn and just barely kissed that. And I could have a little sanding now. But now she locks right in there. I still gotta tighten that nut. <laughs> All right. You can see uh, about 15,000 or so we had to come off there. But uh, we got good action out of it now. Pops right in there. This will adapt down to the uh, hitch on the floor and this will bolt to the top. And our next step will be to go ahead and set these in and weld the grade eight bolts that I've cut off to the right length, right to the plate. They'll stay shallow, not protrude up there. And uh, these will be anchored down with uh, lock washers or nylocks. And it's set to have compression on the radius of the pipe itself. So they won't meet, they'll get real close, but that's it. I'm gonna have a smooth finish off my uh, TIG weld on those. Getting close, wrap it up in a couple hours.